Hi everyone! Today's video is gonna be me testing out Wet n Wild. I've never tested out anything from the brand, so it's like a first impression for me. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to try out Wet n Wild for a while now, but this is the first time I saw it in store. I got six new products from Wet n Wild. Only thing is, I really wanted to get a highlighter, but they didn't have single highlighters in store. They did have a palette, but like, I only liked one shade of the palette, so I wasn't gonna buy the palette. In this video, I will only show you the Wet n Wild products. I do also like have other makeup products because I don't have a full face for Wet n Wild. As you can see, I already did my brows, but I now wanted to carve out with concealer. This is the concealer I got. I got the Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I've heard some good reviews about this concealer. Hello, bye bye, love you. I'm really excited. I'm gonna get some on the back of my hand as I always do. I'm sorry that you can see my mirror, but I'm using the NYX brush in the number 10 for carving out my brows. As you can see, I didn't try doing my brows really good because I'm basically gonna take all my makeup off after this video. This concealer does smell like paint. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit more. And now I'm gonna blend out my concealer with the Morphe M173 brush. I mean, it looks pretty nice so far. I'm also using this concealer to prime my eyes. I'm gonna set with my airspun powder. I'm now gonna continue my makeup and when I'm done with primer, I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I stayed pretty basic. I only put on some mascara, brow gel and primer, so yeah. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've heard really good stories about it and really bad stories about it, so um, I don't know what to believe, <laughs> but I really want to try it out for myself. It's from the same line as my concealer, so yeah, okay. I swatched it in a store, and in the store this was my shade, but maybe the lighting is different? I don't know. But I didn't face swatch it, I guess, so... I think that's enough. I'm not sure how much to use. Let's blend it out with my Morphe sponge. It's too yellow for me, but maybe I can make this work. Hopefully. I mean, up close it looks kind of good. It's also pretty light coverage, but I did put on a lot of foundation. So the undertone is not really like it's too yellow for me, but I could make it work. So far so good. I'm not gonna wear this makeup all day, so I don't know how this foundation is gonna wear. I literally don't know how all of my foundations wear throughout the day because I don't wear foundations all day long. Uh, I usually film at night and then I just take it off right after I film. I'm now using the concealer again. It's not that I hate the applicator, but it's like really small and you need to dip it in a lot if you want to get some product. The only thing about these products so far is I don't like the smell at all. It smells like paint and I don't like smelling intense scents when I'm doing my makeup. But whenever the product is really good, I do use a scented product as the Airspun powder. This smells really like intense, but I love the powder so, you know, I still use the powder a lot. I'm gonna give you a really close up right now. So my skin never looks really amazing with foundation, but I focus, <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good. I mean, from afar, it also looks very good. My skin just never looks good up close. <laughs> the concealer has a rose undertone uh, and the foundation has a really yellow undertone. I have the foundation in soft ivory. It's not that I have a yellow or pink undertone, 
I have a more neutral undertone. Before I'm gonna powder my face, I'm gonna use this Duo Ended Contour Stick Light Medium. I picked this one up because I don't have a lot of contour sticks. I usually never use the highlight shade or concealer shade. This is how it looks. And I'm now gonna use the contour shade. It's pretty warm toned for a contour stick. For blending out cream contour, I really like using a brush. I mean, it's not like I hate it, but I also don't love it. It is okay to blend out, it's not really hard, but it also not really easy. But in my opinion, this is too warm to be a contour stick. I prefer my um, contour more ashy, the Fenty Beauty stick. I do like because it's really cool tone. I usually don't like cream contour for my nose, but I'm gonna still try. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it all out. I've now contoured my whole face and it doesn't look bad. The only thing is if I knew that this was like so warm toned, then I would have just saved up my money and bought the NYX one. It's a little more expensive, but I think it was um, more cool toned. There weren't any testers for this product, so that's kind of sad. I will just use the concealer shade for carving out my contour. I will just use my sponge for this. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't recommend it. Maybe I'll grow to love the products, but I don't love the product right now. I will now set my face and then I'll continue. Oh my god, I spilled powder everywhere. And then I'll continue my makeup. Now I'm done with powder and lower lash mascara. I'm gonna continue with another product. I got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. It comes with like a shitty brush that nobody ever uses. I swatched it in the store and this looked pretty pigmented. Whoa, this is a hella pigmented. Ooh, that's a freaking ton of blush. And that wasn't actually my intention. I look like a clown. I do really like the color though. I'm going over with some powder to make it less pigmented. I mean, I like the blush. It's just really, really pigmented. So I'm gonna like practice that it doesn't come off this strong. I do like the color. I didn't have this shade of a blush. So it's really pretty, pretty good, pretty good. I'm now gonna do some highlighter and I'll be right back. I'm really happy and excited for the two next products because I'm so excited for all the products. But now I have two more Wet n Wild products and then the look is done. First of all, having this Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick. I've heard some great things about these. And I got mine in the shade Rebel Rose. I'm now gonna apply it. Ooh, so far the formula feels really nice. Ooh, I like it, especially for like a matte liquid lipstick. The formula is really freaking nice. I also like the applicator. Ooh, I really like this. I want to try out more of their liquid lipsticks. I think for the money, this is one of the best drugstore liquid lipsticks ever. Even maybe the best because most liquid lipsticks from the drugstore dry out my lips so badly and um, I can feel the formula like it does stick a bit But I really freaking like it. It's really pretty and it doesn't dry out my lips completely And now to finish off the look, I'm gonna use this natural finish setting spray It doesn't come with a lot of products 45 milliliters and that's not that much because I usually use like setting sprays really quickly But I've heard some good stories about this one, so I did want to try it out So satisfying it says shake well before use so Oh, I like the spray the mist it comes out really fine 
I do like it, I just don't know if it's worth the money. This was me trying Wet n Wild for the first time. So far, the only product I didn't really like was the um, contour stick. It's not that I hate it, I just wouldn't want to buy this again. I don't know how I feel about the concealer and the foundation yet, just because I really don't like the smell and I don't know how it's gonna wear or gonna look in a few hours. I also like the setting spray, but I don't know if it's worth the money. I really like the blush, I'm just not used to having such a pigmented blush. And the best thing I've tried, which I highly recommend and I want to get more shades of, is the Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. Such a good product! I hope you like this video. Um, I love testing out new makeup. I love testing out new brands. I will keep on making reviews and first impressions because I just love makeup. <laughs> um, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below, comment something, and I'll see you next time. Bye!